Hello everyone, this is John Paul of Day Trade to Win. On today's E-mini chart, dated May 2, 2012, I'm going to show you something a little different. In this video, I want to show you in sequence all of the trades that were available and that you would have understood to take based on what is taught in the private mentorship program. There is a total of nine trades. There are reasons for taking each trade, and every trade setup is outlined during the eight-week program. Nothing is held back. But remember, we never jump into what looks good or what feels right. These are specific setups that are objective to what is occurring in the market. All right, here we go. Trade number one, as soon as the market opens, everyone's looking to go long or short. We're going to wait. We're going to be very specific here. The first trade of the day is going to be 13.9375 short. It's based off of the Atlas line, double bar short order. The ATR is telling me that a point and three quarters is really what I want to get out of this trade as far as profit goes. And right away, the market dropped and we're able to achieve that point and three quarters. Trade number one was successful. As we continue looking for a second trade, right away we have what's called an at the open trade. And the at the open trade is also telling me short 1392.50. And the profit target is about two points on that, and that was also made. Now, on this second trade, we have a follow-up trade, which is a strength trade. Whether you wanted to take this additional trade or not, we really just ended up with a, a short trade here off of the at the open. You can take it, but in reality, you didn't have to. I don't suggest doubling up, but that would have been a third trade here, a strength trade off of the Atlas line. Looking for the fourth trade here, the market crosses back above the Atlas line. We have a long 1394.75. We're long. Profit target is about a point and a half. And this trade, this fourth trade, didn't quite make the full point and a half. It only went a point and a quarter. So we have what's called a time-based stop. If the trade doesn't work out within a certain number of bars or a certain time, we're out of the trade. And this trade was a one-point loss. Looking for the fifth trade, we have a strength trade to go long at 1395 quarter. So I'm long 1395 quarter, and this trade also was good for a point. Now we continue, and the sixth trade of the day is going to be a little bit of channeling here, a pullback trade. Again, going for a point on this pullback trade, and that was. Uh, pretty simple, it went straight up. That's the sixth trade of the day. We have a seventh trade of the day here to go long again, 1398 quarter. And this trade went to full point. But we're hitting some resistance. What you see here in the shaded area is what I call the roadmap trade. And the roadmap trade is really telling me that I shouldn't be going long because we're hitting some major resistance. Instead, I am going to look for a short trade. So the roadmap is really telling me stay out of longs and concentrate on going short. And you can see as the market turned around, we're short based on the roadmap method. Okay. I think that's the seventh trade of the day, okay? Or eighth trade of the day. Now I have a strength trade to go long, 1396.50. I'm long 1396.50. Again, going just for a point, and that rocketed straight up. So now it's about 4 o'clock Eastern Standard. The day is over. I don't recommend trading any longer. Even this last trade of the day, I think, is cutting it close to go long here on this strength trade. There were a total of nine trades here on May 2nd. Not that you had to take all of them. But there are plenty of opportunities, especially if you are specific. Okay. If you have any questions, please contact me at support at daytradetowin.com. A new eight week session of the private mentorship begins May 9, 2012. Registration details are provided at the end of this video. All courses and software are included. My name is John Paul. Good trading.